Gail Stone. You can check me out in Rock, Paper, Dead, Swell, and the competition this year. And you are watching Tony with Nine Fingers. What is going on, people? It is day number five of the 31 Days Half October series that I have going on on my channel right now. Pretty much it's the 31 Days of Halloween, 31 Days of Horror, whatever you want to call it, that's my little spin on it. I'm going to be doing 31 horror, mo horror movie reviews in 31 days. Yes, I'm doing it a little bit different. I got indie movies instead of, you know, the mainstream movies. Other people are doing, you know, the more mainstream. Uh, other people are going from the 1920s till now. Check out the description for all the other people that I know of doing it. If you are doing it, let me know and I'll add your name to the list. But also, not am I, only am I doing indie movies, I'm doing it in alphabetical order. Today being day five, I'm going with the letter E. And let me just say, it's a lot harder. I thought there'd be a lot more movies with E, like in the indie genre. But there's only a few, and some of them I've already done before. I did uh, one last year. So this one technically wouldn't be like considered a major horror movie. But it has some aspects, I guess you want to call it, um, some scary points. But it's more of a thriller, uh, crime, drama, I guess you want to call it. The movie I'm talking about is Elsewhere. Elsewhere stars, or is written and directed by Nathan Hope. It's also written by uh, Jess Penner. It stars Anna Kendrick herself, Miss, uh, probably one of my you know favorite actresses now. She's more known for her singing roles. It also stars John Gr uh, Grice and uh, Tania Raimonde. That's what I'm going to go with. Probably horribly butchered that name, among many others. So pretty much what this is about, this is in the time of the internet boom, I guess you want to call it. It came out in 2009, so I'm guessing it takes place around that time. I don't think it's, you know, before or after. But anyway, it start, pretty much goes around the two characters that Anna and uh, Tania play. They're best friends, and in this small town that they live in, all of a sudden, teenage girls start going missing. And no one knows what's going on. They just disappear, and, you know, it's, it's a scary time because no one knows what's going on. I guess they have no leads or no whatever. Anyway, they character played by Tania, she starts kind of rebelling. It's around, I'm guessing they're in high school, so it's about, uh, I don't know exactly if there's a pinpoint time where it happens, but, you know, sometimes teenage girls rebel against their parents or rebel against society, whatever it is. Well, she starts, you know, going down the wrong path. She starts drinking and smoking and partying and whatever. Meanwhile, Anna's character is kind of, you know, the more laid back. She's asking, like, what are you doing? What's going on? Like, what's with you? Like I said, I brought up the internet booming. Well, this is also the time where you have these chat rooms and uh, different places where you can meet people and talk to people and whatever. Well, Tania's character, she starts talking to some random guys. Uh, she starts getting, you know, hit on and, and kind of like poked nowadays on Facebook and stuff. She starts liking it, but also at this time, like, the, uh, in the story, girls are going missing. So Anna Kendrick is like, or her character is like, listen, like, what are you doing? Like, you realize this is going on. Meanwhile, you're on the internet posting provocative pictures and, you know, just strutting your stuff and throwing yourself out there when stuff is going on. She says, Tania's character is like, hey, listen, you know, I got this. Don't worry about me. I know what I'm doing, this and that. Well, lo and behold, her character goes missing. And now, you know, Anna Kendrick being, it's funny, her role in this, her being more of the, you know, musical type and what do you want to call it? In Pitch Perfect and movies like that, Into the Woods, this one she takes matters into her own hand. She starts investigating this crime because now it's her best friend that is now gone. And it just seems like no one's doing anything. So she kind of is going along her business. And all of a sudden she starts getting text from Tania's character saying, Hey, listen, just let me be. I'm doing my own thing. I'm okay. Just leave me alone. Don't do anything else. Just, just go on your merry way, I guess you want to call it. Well... Anna Kendrick's character doesn't take this lightly, and she's like, I'm going to kind of do my own work, find out who it is, and I'm going to solve this mystery by myself. 
I'll leave it at that. That's pretty much, you know, the girl gone missing, people try to find her. Well, Anna Kendrick's on the case this time, which is pretty cool. I'm not only because she's one of my favorite actresses, but, you know, it's just, it's just cool seeing her in a different role than what I'm used to. Uh, again, this really isn't the biggest horror there are. If you look at the back here, uh, one of the killers, or not one of, let me take it back, uh, the person who pretty much is doing this kind of dresses up like that. So when I did buy the movie, that's what I saw at first, and I'm like, oh, this looks really cool, Anna Kendrick in a horror movie. Well, it's not typically, um, it's not a slasher, you don't see many deaths, you don't see a lot, but it, it has some, you know, intense scenes every once in a while, but it's more of a thriller. So, like I said, really couldn't think of any other E. Not that this movie is bad or anything, but it's not, wouldn't be considered a standalone horror movie. So, I'll leave the link to where you can purchase this. Uh, it's on, in, on Amazon. I'll leave the link to that. I'll leave the link to the trailer. I'll also leave all the links to all my other social medias, uh, sites. I got a Twitter. I got a Facebook fan page. I got an Instagram where I show off the movies behind me. Got a horror amino. I'm part of the dorkening. I'll leave everything I'm talking about in the description. Also, right now, I'm on a race to a thousand subscribers. So if you're watching this for the first time, hit that subscribe button. If you watch me for a while and you know people who like reviews, Send them my way. If I do hit a thousand subscribers by the end of October, I'll have a big giveaway in November. And yeah, I mean, you know, all the shares and likes and just letting people know that I'm out there goes a long way. As well as if you haven't already hit that little red button, that little subscribe button, or the little bell so you know when I upload uh, my videos. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully it's kind of gearing you towards getting the movie or checking it out at least and hopefully you check out all my other 31 days well i'm on five but i do have i did it last year so check those out and uh yeah i guess until tomorrow I'll see. if you found the review you just watched enlightening and you want more of them go ahead hit that subscribe button in the corner and check out all the other reviews i have such as horror pack reviews and Netflix and Chiller. If you want to check out all the other things I have, go ahead and check out my Instagram where I show off the movies I have behind me. Or check out my Twitter where I post all my videos and more. If you want to do that, go ahead, hit those buttons, and until next time, I'll see you.